Hello there, Gary here for BookMob. Today I'm going to be talking and visiting uh, some of the street libraries that are in and around my suburb of Ryde in Sydney. Now, what is a street library? A street library is a community-based idea uh, where um, councils or even private homes can set up um, places for books to be swapped out. Um, I'm also going to be um, putting three copies of my own book in uh, three of the um, of the uh, book street libraries that I visit, and I also want to see what I can find. Uh, you know, what are people reading? What books do people give away? Generally, I think people give away books that they don't want to hold on to. Books that they've bought, uh, say, on returning from a flight and they bought it at the airport and they just wanted something to read while they were flying back home. Or... In this day and age of mass consumption, you know, books are readily available, you know, I mean, everywhere. I mean, books are just everywhere. Now, that, that's a good thing. Um, but at the other end, I guess the books that we want to read, and that's why there's such a diverse range of uh, books to choose from, is that there are going to be books that people start to read, don't finish, books that are given, uh, you know, it's presents that they don't appreciate. And I guess there's nothing wrong with putting a book uh, in a street library in order to maybe hopefully find a reader who's looking to read that one. So when I go out today, I'm going to visit maybe four or five. Uh, my local area has uh, two, four, six, about 15 um, street libraries dotted in and around the area. I, it's all in good faith. And I think, I mean, it's a great idea. I mean, it's a really good idea. The amount of books uh, available to all of us, you know, I mean, it's just countless. You know, you can get books um, at, uh, you know, you can buy brand new books. You can go to secondhand stores. You can go to Goodwill or you can go to St. Vinnie's. Um, you can borrow books from your friends. But I guess the majority of books that are given away are the ones that people really don't want to keep. Now, you know, what do they say? What's that saying? Uh, somebody's rubbish is someone else's treasure or something. But along those lines. Anyway, so what, you know, what does a street library do for a community? I guess in some ways you can say that um, it gives you an idea of what people are thinking about, uh, what people are reading, the types of books that are found. Um, but I've never actively used street libraries as a source for books. Um, I have a massive library of my own that I have to cull every, I, I probably go through two culls a year and I try and keep my, uh, you know, my mass, uh, of, uh, bulging books to a minimum. And there are so many books being published, which is again, which is fantastic. I mean, it's just great that. There is so much uh, in literature, there's so much in story, just sitting out there and, you know, being sent into the world. Perhaps in a time of, uh, of want, we will look back on this period and just be amazed at how, uh, how many books uh, we took on. But at the end of the day, it's a good idea. It's a positive idea. It's great. It gives you a small insight into what people are reading. And one other thing that um, I find interesting about uh, other people's books is what you can find in them. Notes, letters, bills, uh, receipts. You know, so like a book itself is a historical um, artifact. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm, I'm talking from my point of view because I do, um, I do uh, leave a lot of notes in my books that I read. And um, so maybe if I find something and it's got something special in it, something unique, I might keep that book. Other than that, let's go out and see if we can find some treasures. Let's go. Uh. All right, this is the first um, street library I'm going to look at. This is just uh, not far from my place. Let's see what the locals are reading here. Wow, okay, uh, James Patterson. I mean, this guy's got like about 6,000 books out. Joe Biden, that's a winner. Joe Biden. So now we know what people are reading. There's a kid's soccer book, that's pretty good. Copy of my book. 
which obviously is going to be very different from anything else that's here so I'll stick it there okay it's not bad I wonder if I'll find some Dostoevsky all right what have we got Carl Sane, Finley, Sane Urban, Virginia Andrews uh, Clive yeah No, no Mailer or uh, Dostoevsky or Ford Maddox Ford. Uh, large print. Ooh, X Library. Yeah, kids' books. All right. Uh, I guess there's nothing here that I'll read. Um, get 100, 100. Flashy, fleshy faction. This is the third one. Actually, this one you can get street libraries for your for your own house. Uh, okay, let's see if I'm going to read anything here. Ludlam, Common, Central Brown, oh, Jack London. Though I have read it and I've got a copy. Is this science fiction? Oh yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Uh, I think it has to be read in order. I'm not sure, but I think so. And also, nothing really here that I'll read. Stick it in there. Yeah. Okay. Well, not only have they got a, a street library, they've got a street nursery. Okay, what have we got in here? Oh yeah, Cloud Atlas, Dave Mitch, that's good. I've read it, I've got it. John Pilger, nah. Uh, Rosie Effect, oh, I've got one of his, uh, I do have one of his books, but it's a um, how to write novels, I think it was. Oh yeah, I've read that one, that's not bad actually. It's an Eleanor Oliphant. Yeah, he's completely fine. That's quite a good book. I've got that as well. Uh, yeah, so I think that was the best one. This one was a little out of the way. Let's see if we've got a better class of books. Uh, Kathy Kelly. Oh, Cockdella. Yeah. Right, isn't okay this? No, nah, nothing there for me at this point in time. Well, um, that was only, I think, five street libraries. And there's a whole lot more out there. So I guess I can't be too disappointed. I didn't find anything that I would pick up and read on uh, today's uh, journey. Um, but nevertheless, street libraries are great. It's good to see people sharing books, sharing the reading experience, and that's good for everyone. Thanks.